today I've got two big pieces of news to share with you. I'm super excited and happy about, and uh, I'm sure you're gonna like it as well. It's the 1st of June, 2020. Why would I tell you the date? Well, they've both got something to do with it. Recently, my sunglasses just broke. So actually, I just come to realize how important it is to have sunglasses for when you're cycling. Loads of bugs flying into your eyes, just the wind in general. So it looks like I'm gonna have to invest in some new sunglasses for cycling. And no, that wasn't the big news. That's it, you're right. I'm back at Sonto. The welcome committee's here. Woo welcome! <laughs> okay, maybe not the welcome I was expecting, but I'm back here. Oh yeah, so I'm back working at Sonto. So they called me back to come back and work. Obviously, for those of you who don't know, I was working here at Sonto before and I got laid off, obviously with the coronavirus times, it's affected a lot of people in a lot of different ways and I lost my job. So for the past seven weeks, you know, you've seen what I've been doing. I've been putting videos up pretty much every day, but now I'm back at work but it also helps me, you know, financially. And then also the fact that, you know, I really enjoy working here. And But for me, you know, like I love working here. I mean, I love sports and helping to produce and kind of develop new product. And for those of you who don't know, like Sonto started in 1936 and in 2020, you know, some 20, so 16 years time. So 16 minus 100. 84 years on and we're here and like creating the the rapid rate of the growth of what technology and what we can do as sports which is just incredible so this here is the Sonto m13 compass and like in 1938 there was a i think a finnish army soldier and he got shot and the compass actually saved his life because the bullet hit this and yeah i mean that's like a cool story to kick start it off and to think that we're here in 2020 and we're creating you know products that can kind of read your heart rate and tell you how many steps you're taking every day this goes on and for like amazing things that it can tell you this is the Santa vector and uh, this watch i guess was a bit of a game changer because it had an abc component which is altimeter barometer and compass in it and it's probably been in the himalayas quite a lot and up mount everest but, uh, you know, modern day explorers started to use this watch and I'm pretty sure there's quite a lot of people still, you know, who are in love with this watch and probably still wear it. So for me to be a part of the development and the future of this company, it means a great deal for me. I think my whole life stands for a few different things, but adventure is one of those core things within me. Being able to kind of produce products that help people to have more adventures in their everyday life if it be to go and run a 5k, go up to the top of Mount Everest, or just to have a companion with them on their everyday kind of activities. That's a real cool thing. As you know, I like to push my limits and that's why I work here as well, because I mean, it's the perfect job for me. I can develop myself as a human being, as an athlete, and I do that whilst I'm working and trying my utmost to be the best version of myself and to help a company which, and as I've said so many times, to help a company create these really cool tools and instruments. So I'm really happy to be back and obviously through these challenging times that we're all going through, I'm very lucky to have been put in this situation and I can come back to work. Now obviously that doesn't mean it's all over and everything's back to normal. As you can tell at the office, it's pretty quiet and we've still got these tight restrictions and everything, but you know, one step at a time.
The other piece of news I was going to share with you, well yeah, you probably noticed I was back at the office. In Helsinki and Finland, they've reduced a lot of the restrictions due to coronavirus. A lot of restaurants, shops and everything else have opened. There's still some kind of restrictions that, you know, no groups of over 50 people and such. It's quite nice to see. I'm not 100% sure. Obviously this coronavirus thing is not going to just disappear like that, so... It's nice to see some steps forwards, but uh, we do still need to be careful. I realize that I'm lucky living here in Finland, but I think we've had it pretty easy in a sense compared to some countries. But I'm going to continue doing my part, obviously, to try and stop any spreading, be sensible, healthy, and keep my fitness in a good place. As we've said in some of the other videos, make sure that you look after your health because you don't want to be in that risk group ever. With that being said, I'm going to do some stretching. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you tomorrow.